Disturbed and Lamb of God are filling Summerfest's last slot for 2022. There are two of more than 40 new headliners revealed for the Milwaukee Music Festival Monday, along with a full festival lineup. The hard rock bands will play the 23,000 person capacity American Family Insurance Amphitheater June 30, with Chevelle opening. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. Friday at the box office and Ticketmaster. Come and include Summerfest general admission for June 30. Acts announced Monday for Summerfest's other stages include Stone Temple Pilots, who will perform at the BMO Harris Pavilion July 1st. Reserved seats go on sale at noon Friday and include Summerfest general admission that day. Other seats are available on a first-come, first-served basis for the Summerfest general admission ticket holders. Also added to the lineup are country group the band Camino, rap veteran Lupe Fiasco, Milwaukee-born country artist Nora Collins and Sir Mix a lot of Baby Got Back fame. They join a list of more than 100 headliners announced in March. Summerfest Tax, Summerfest 2022 returns to summer with Lil Wayne, Backstreet Boys joining the lineup Summerfest headliners, Machine Gun Kelly, Avril Lavigne to headline Summerfest 2022, part of North American Tour General Admission tickets are $25 at the box office and Summerfest or $20 for Senator. Multi-day general admission passes are $54, 3 days, $105, 6 days, and $125, 9 days. General admission tickets include access to all shows except those in the amphitheater and exclude reserved seats for headliners at the BMO Harris Pavilion. A number of promotional deals are expected to be announced. Last week, Summerfest offered a limited number of $25 tickets for seven amphitheater shows. As of Monday, $25 tickets were still available for Halsey's Summerfest show at the amphitheater July 2nd. Powered by love, Halsey welcomes first child with screenwriter Rolla Faden If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power. Halsey celebrates pregnant and postpartum bodies with new girl chested album cover The Lark. It's the first time the festival will have taken place in its traditional summer window since 2019, 